Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer comes from Block 15 Brewing Company. And these guys are out of Oregon. Uh, this is their Sticky Hands uh, Double IPA or Imperial IPA. This comes in at 8.1% 8 .8 is what it's got written on the can. Uh, beer Advocate has it listed at 825 so they've done it, they've done it several different times, and the ABV has changed. Uh, and just like yesterday's beer that uh, that uh, Tyler had sent me, they had printed the date real small on here. Well, these guys have printed it half on this side and half down through there. Very hard to read. And they just center up that machine, so it's putting it in the center of the can here instead of on the rim, half off the rim. And it's got 062617. So, uh, still read it, but it, it would be better if it was all in the center of the can and not halfway up on this rim on the bottom. So, but anyway, a uh, very colorful can, a lot of information written on the can and very small writing. Uh, but this one is 8.1% according to the can. And like I said, Tyler sent me a couple of them. This is the second one that he sent me in uh, out of the beer packet. So I want to go ahead and do that. Uh, because it had been done in June and uh, here we're in July. I like to drink these beers as fresh as I possibly can, guys. So, uh, let's see what it brings to the table. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Commercial description on this. Uh, says the IBUs on untapped. There's 110. That's a lot of IBUs. So hopefully it's going to have a nice sweetness to it and not just be super bitter. Uh, we're going to find out here in just a minute. Commercial description says this hop experience ale features ample additions of sticky resinous lupulin packed hop buds grown in the Pacific Northwest. Enjoy a hop uh, decrescendo that begins with an aromatic blast of tropical fruit, citrus, and dank herbs, transitions into intense hop flavor, and then ends with a subtle bitter finish. Subtle at 110 IBUs, oh, no, no, no. Generally propped up by pale malted barley and fermented with specialty selected brewer's yeast designed to balance this immense hop experience. So, sounds tasty. Got my mouth watering. So we got the ABV 8.1, we got the IBUs 110, and we got the can on date on it. So that's all three things we need. So let's pop the top on this puppy. The big 16 ounce can. I won't get it all in the glass on the initial pour. But I'll try to get it all in there before I leave. This one doesn't seem to be as cloudy as yesterday's beer. It doesn't look like an unfiltered beer or a New England style. Cuisine is barbecue, cheese of pepper, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar, stronger cheeses, meat, game, grilled meat, and salmon, glass for a snifter, tulip, oversized wine glass. And it says here, because it's an eight, it's a double IPA. These guys at Beer Advocates say you can sell her as shit. Uh, I don't know what kind of crack they're smoking, but I can't do it. Drink them fresh, guys. About a finger of head on that pour. It is definitely a filtered beer, guys. I can see the light right through it. It's a nice amber color. This is definitely not in the New England style. It is a filtered beer. Let's get the nose on it. Oh, yes. Very nice hop aroma. Very citrusy. And I tell you this a lot of times, guys, over and over and over, because I'll get the same things a lot of time on these big juice bombs. Well, not juice bombs, but the big double IPAs and, and stuff that has a, a dry hopped or double dry hopped. You get a lot of the same notes a lot of times. I mean, very citrusy. Pine. A little bit of dankness on this. Pineapple. Grapefruit. 
getting some mango in there. It smells very juicy, very, very fruity, and I don't mean fruity like it's in berries, I'm fruit like it's in oranges, pears, apples, mango. It smells nice. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Tyler. Absolutely delicious. A little bit heavy on the bittering, but it's not super bitter. <clears throat> there is enough sweet malt to balance this out. Very well done. And the common is sticky hands. Guys, your homebrewers know what I'm talking about. And the brewers know what I'm talking about. If you've ever handled any hot cones, I'm not talking about the pellets. If you've ever handled any fresh hot cone, now, not even the dry hops, uh, stuff that's freeze dried or, or dried out and then vacuum sealed. If you've ever grown hops or got your hands, uh, especially picking hops off the plant, your hands get very sticky and they turn black from all that uh, resin that's on there, the lupulin, if you will. So. That's absolutely delicious, guys. Alcohol is super well hidden, I'm not getting hardly any of that at all for an 8.1 percenter. Very nice, very colorful can. Set of hands on there with multiple hop cones in there. It looks like somebody's been picking hops. So, and if they have, they're gonna have sticky hands. So, well, let me step on this. It's right out of the fridge. Let her taste it, and I'll come right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I said about 30 minutes or so. Excellent beer, guys. For 110 IBUs, they're very well hidden. Uh, I cannot taste that super strong bitterness on the back end that a lot of these 110 IBU double IPAs have. Very drinkable. Very, very well made. I'm going to put it that way because I'm not detecting that 110 IBUs. If I was guessing, I would say it was probably 75 or 80. But being 110, Very well done. That's all I can say about that. When you get that strong of a bitterness in the IBUs, that it's 110 and it doesn't taste super bitter on the back end. I've had single IPAs that tasted more bitter than this one did with a lot less IBUs. So, very well done. Very well done. Very tasty beer. Very citrusy. A lot of tropical fruit notes in this beer. Excellent. Very well done. I enjoyed this. And another one. I would buy this beer if I could get it here. I'll go. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Guys, I'm going to put this one where I put the one we did yesterday. It's an A beer, 95, right down the middle of the range. Very, very tasty. Over to Beer Advocate. They say 96, world class. Excellent numbers from them. I'm giving it a 95, 96, but we're within one point there. Over to Untapped. Untapped says 4.22. Definitely in their A category also, guys. So it's A beer all the way around, just like yesterday's beer was. Very, very tasty. And they're not claiming this to be a New England style or any kind of juice bomb or anything. Just a very well-made double IPA. I enjoy this. Tyler, thanks again, my friend. My brother, I do appreciate you sending me those beers all the way from Oregon. I enjoyed them. I would buy them if I could get them here. So thanks again, friend. I do appreciate it. Uh, guys, if you've had this one from Block 15 Brewing, this is their Sticky Hands Double or Imperial IPA. Let me know what you think. I think it's excellent. It's worth picking up if you're in, I don't know how far they distribute it out. So if you're in the Oregon area, I don't know where in Oregon, uh, I didn't go over. Uh, beer Advocate doesn't tell me, just tells me where it's from as far as the state. Rate beer usually goes into more, but we don't use those guys anymore. They sold out. Yeah, they did. So... They're from Oregon, so if you're in the vicinity of Block 15 Brewery, or you can get your hands on it, I don't know, like I said, I don't know how far out they distribute from the brewery, uh, pick it up. If you're a hop head, you'll like this. Uh, if you had it, let me know what you think. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge, guys.